The ceremony is about to begin. Your candidates for graduation are going to be entering from the left side. So if you turn around and you'll see them entering the, entering the courtyard, please rise.
please remain standing as we sing our campus oli, Mele Hono Uli Uli, led by Wela Ahilani Vahilani, Hoku Kwan, Kainoa Nahulu, and others. The words for this oli can be found in your program, and we encourage you to join along. Eo pale hua kua hivi la, ke kua hivi no ho i kalani, o ka pole i ka pula, ka pu i no ho i ka aina, o ka papa pu i ka lokola, ka loko i no ho i ka i. Oh, no, uli, uli, la, e aina, aloha, o eva, aloha, mai, na pua, la, na pua, ha, he, o, ka, aina, aloha, mai, na pua, la, na pua, ha, he, o, ka, aina, aloha. Please be seated. Welcome to the University of Hawaii West Oahu Spring 2022 commencement. We're so pleased and privileged to bring you all on campus for this momentous occasion. My name is Leila Shimokawa and I will be your MC for today. I would now like to introduce our Chancellor, Maynette Benham. Velina mai e na haumana, na kumu, na hoaloha, a me na ohana. E ia kako makapapahana kula kupulau. O ka makihiki e lua kaukani i vaka lua kuma lua. Welcome, students, faculty and staff, and friends, to our spring 2022 University of Hawaii West Oahu graduation ceremony. Mahalo, mahalo, mahalo for joining us for this very special occasion to celebrate in person the brilliant achievement of our graduates. This uh, past fall and earlier this morning, uh, students, we with the support of faculty, staff, and the associated students of U the University of Hawaii West Oahu, we were able to celebrate this seminal moment in person and in a modified format after several postponed ceremonies. It was a lot smaller in the fall. It was much bigger earlier this morning. But we still had many, many special memories on that day and earlier this morning. So today, this afternoon, we are especially ecstatic to be able to again celebrate graduation in person with you in this modified format. As you know, we continue to be vigilant to support a healthy and safe environment for everyone gathered here. But in order to do so, we have asked our faculty, our staff, current students, and alumni and friends to give of their time and their muscle to help us with the setup yesterday and graduation ceremonies today. So I would like to take this opportunity to send out a deeply grateful mahalo to our commencement committee, faculty, staff, students, alumni, and friends for your kokua. Let's give them all a round of applause. Now, to our spring 2022 graduates, today's graduation ceremony is different from any other, and why? because you have each had to be resourceful, resilient, and relentless during these unprecedented times. There's a saying, 
that we are our ancestors' wildest dreams. Well, I believe that you all have achieved things that your ancestors would have never imagined. You are your ancestors' wildest dreams. Ho'omai ka'i ya oko a i mua, e pupu ka'i holomue na po ki'i. Congratulations to you, our graduates. It's time for you to sail forward with the wind. So Chancellor called the wind. It was like, it was like perfect timing, right? <laughs> Thank you, Chancellor Benham. We're so pleased to introduce our distinguished guests. Please rise as your name is called and remain standing, and will the audience please withhold your applause until all are recognized. So from the UH Board of Regents, Regent Diane Paloma. UH Vice President for Budget and Finance and Chief Financial Officer, Calbert Young. Chancellor Maynette Benham. Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Jeffrey Moniz. Associate Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Alan Rosenfeld. Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Jan Jabinar. Dr. Robin Tasaka with the Noeao Center. Sharla Hanaoka, Director of Creative Media at UH West Oahu. Yeah, sure. <laughs> Christina Liu, Division Chair, Public Administration. <laughs> Way to represent you guys. Orlando Garcia Santiago, Division Chair, Social Sciences. <laughs> Faculty Marshal, Catherine Armour. And our student speakers, Jesse Mikasobe Kelii Nohomoku and Michelle Zhang. We're so grateful and for all that you've done and are honored that you, you could be a part of today's celebration. Please give them a round of applause. Thank you. And now, our Vice Chancellor for Student Affairs, Jan Javanar, will introduce our first student speaker. That's right, I did say first, because we're so, we have so many outstanding candidates for graduation that we have two speakers today. Thank you. So our first student speaker is a double major in political science and sustainable community food systems. He's the recipient of two medals from our undergraduate student government, and a Senate Appreciation Medal and a Volunteerism Medal. He served as president of a club, the Aloha Aina Service Club. His visions and goals include pursuing a graduate degree in urban and regional planning, to be in the conversation of developing emergency risk plans and advancing sustainable and equitable food systems here in Hawaii. Please, please give a warm welcome to Jesse Mikasobe Kealii Nohomoku. Thank you for being here, everyone. And sweating underneath this awesome hot sun. <laughs> Aloha mai kako. My name is Jesse Mikosobe Kelly Inohomoku. Home for me is Wai'anae, Lolole. I am a first graduating college student of my family. And it was a journey traversing this last four years here at UH West Oahu. I had to seek guidance and be open to trying things out and I looked up to people and places to guide me. Beyond those here on campus, I looked up to my kupuna. Those who are watching today, as well as those who have always been with me in spirit. It is an honor to be able to stand here at this moment, sharing my thoughts. One day, we were at the mala after working in a garden, and Timanu asked us to join hands and sing Oli Mahalo. There was no way to escape this. I tell you, I do not know how to chant. We never do this in Wai'anae, I tell you. There I was fighting the feeling of being perfect, and yet I thought, I'm going to screw up. So while Auntie went on chanting, I was just mumbling the words, trying to get it right. And I knew I wasn't. Even worse, I didn't have the rhythm. <laughs> Talk about rubber. 
So translation for those of you who are not from Y and I, that's a that's a big L. <laughs> In life, there are things like that that happen to us. We feel awkward, less than, unconfident. But it's these types of moments that helps us grow. And I want to tell you why. If you know people in Waianae, there's a reputation about us. Tough, rough, protect yourself and your family. So I had to be rugged. In my family of eight siblings, two parents, that toughness was reinforced. And that's how I grew up. I understood that for me, I couldn't put myself in any vulnerable situations or spaces, or I'd be at a disadvantage. When I landed on this campus, everything was new, and almost everything made me feel less than, uncomfortable, and totally rubber. I can remember sitting in my first class with Professor Miles, and some of you guys may can relate. He's talking about farming systems from an ecological perspective. We had to dive into articles about agroecology, soil biology, food democracy, ecological well-being. I felt stupid, and yet I wanted to be cool. But the reasons were so hard, and even worse, I was sitting there, not understanding anything. I was like, huh, what? What is he talking about? I didn't even know any of that. I was too afraid to open up in front of these people, so I sat there quiet, you know, in the back of the room, you know, just not trying to get called on. So everything I went through, super hard, and I thought I was alone. Somehow, though, I began to realize, with the help of these wonderful mentors, I hope you folks are listening today, and those that are watching, at Yosh West Oahu and afar, I had to grow, and I had to change my approach to learning. I had to open myself up to failure, uh, and how to be comfortable with saying that I just don't know, but I'm going to get it right, and I'm going to find out. The last couple years here on campus has really allowed me the time, the latitude to grow. Being vulnerable, for example, had transcended my consciousness, allowed me to develop depth with others and grow only here, not only here, you know, in the Coco, but over here in, in my Na'o. The changes was learning through my actions. It was being able to set down my guards, be vulnerable, and allow knowledge to enter. So I got a couple recommendations to say before I go. And please, please hear this out. The first recommendation is find spaces where you can grow. Find the places where you can be open to new ideas, new thoughts, and maybe a new space to cry. Because without these open places, these safe spaces, we can't grow us, and we can't grow the others around us. And a second recommendation before I go, I'm going to ask you to sing Oli Mahalo. And please, it's just four lines. It's at the ending of Oli Mahalo. And I'll, repeat, I'll say the first part and have you folks repeat after me. And this is to give gratitude, you know, we're graduating. And I don't mean to call you out class of 2022, but please stand up and sing along with me. Stand up, guys. Let's do this. Let's go out strong. Okay, you guys are ready? Mahalo ena kupuna la ea. Mahalo ena e kupuna la ea. Mahalo me ke aloha la. Mahalo me ke aloha la. Mahalo me ke aloha la. Come on, everybody, sing. Mahalo me ke aloha la. Mahalo, everyone. Thank you, guys. Mahalo, Jesse. <clears throat> our second speaker is a creative media graduate. She was a member of our Campus Center Board from her freshman year, and she also served as the editor-in-chief of our UH West Oahu student newspaper called The Hoot. She also was a math tutor and social media manager at the Noyao Learning Center, our tutoring and testing center on campus. After graduation, she plans to pursue a career in animation and storytelling. Let's hear her story now. Please welcome to the podium, Michelle Zeng.
Thank you, Jan. Welcome graduates, attendees, and those watching via live stream. I'd like to start off by thanking my family, friends, and professors for all the support and guidance they have provided me. Robin, Kuyu, Sharla, Dr. Yang, Dr. J, Roel, and the countless other inspirational pillars. Thank you for supporting me in my journey. My name is Michelle Zhang. During my time here at UH West Oahu, I have served in many capacities from the editor of the Hoot to a Noi Out Center tutor. But the most important and fulfilling role was simply the one I filled as a student. College to me wasn't a question of if, rather than where. From the day I started school at Kapolei Elementary to the day I graduated Kapolei High School, I knew I would graduate diploma or graduate college with a diploma in my hand. What I didn't know were the finer details and the thousands of metaphorical roadblocks, traffic lights, and detours that would occur along the way. When looking for a college, I didn't need nor want some grandiose university that had all the best classrooms or newest equipment. I mean, that stuff would be nice, but I didn't need it. What I really sought out was a place I felt comfortable to learn in and provided a fun college experience. So I had no idea what to expect when I joined the Teaching Learning Academy through UH West Oahu as a senior in high school. I mean, I was just looking to earn some early college credits, but I jumped headfirst into college. Immediately, I was pelted with the expectations, papers, and responsibilities of a college student, the college experience, am I right? I learned that when it comes to college, it doesn't really matter where you go, as long as you make it home to you. There's something magical about a place where you feel safe to be yourself. Everyone knows your name, and there's always a smile and supporting hand whenever you need it. For my senior project, I had the pleasure of animating Auntie Pua's Building Up a Love community story. And something she shared with me is that a community needs to be built, not with the hands of one, but with the hands of many. And I wouldn't have gone to this day without the multiple hands of support from unforgettable friends, mentors, and connections. I am honored and grateful to be considered part of this community and this ohana. Classrooms, connections, conversations, everything changed when COVID attacked. While we were prepared for the stresses of college exams, papers, and projects, None of us could have expected the whole new set of challenges that a worldwide pandemic would bring to our educational journeys. On that fateful day, right before spring break 2020, we said goodbye to each other and the campus, not knowing when we will return for over two years. Classrooms became Zoom rooms, meetups became Discord channels, and lunch with friends on the cramped orange couches of the cafeteria became a distant memory. I sheltered up and it came at the expense of feelings of loneliness, isolation, and depression. It got rough, I'm not gonna lie, because despite seeing 20 of your classmates at once, it didn't match the atmosphere of truly being together. Honestly, shout out to the professors who were able to roll with the punches given to them and shift their entire curriculum to fit with these troubling times. And shout out to the students who persevered through it all at some points, literally teaching themselves how to get through classes. I can't say I didn't enjoy the ability to just roll out of bed or only worrying about dressing up on the top half. <laughs> but it didn't compare to seeing the smile of a friend run across campus just to say hello. Class of 2022, our roadmaps to get to these steps may have started differently than how it ended. The important thing is that we are here together in person, at 1 p.m., dressed all in black, directly under the sun, sweating through our robes. <laughs> through the caffeine-driven sleepless nights, blue light-filled eyes, and stress-motivated midnight meals, we powered through it and made it to the end of the road. Now, we begin again, traveling on that next highway of our lives, taking what we've learned here and sharing our experiences and creations with the world. Be proud of your journey. I don't know what life is gonna be like next. It's not always gonna present us with those perfect straight roads to follow. Sometimes we'll have to U-turn. Sometimes we'll have to go off-road. Sometimes it'll be storming or windy. 
through it all. No matter the twists, turns, and tumbles, I know and we know that here in Hawaii, after the rain, there's always a rainbow. Let's hope it doesn't rain though. Keep driving forward, graduates. Mahalo. Thank you, Michelle and Jesse. We will now proceed with the awarding of academic degrees and certificates. I would like to call Drs. John Javanar and Robin Tasaka from Student Affairs to the podium to present the candidates for degrees and certificates. And will Chancellor Benham, Vice Chancellor Moniz, Associate Vice Chancellor Rosenfeld, Faculty Marshall Omer, and Director Sharla Honauka please come to the stage. As they make the way, we want, I want to share with you that our ceremony celebrates our graduates in a unique and special way. After a candidate's name is called, they walk across the stage and the candidate then joins you, their family and guests in the audience to await the final presentation of the graduating class and the traditional moving of the tassel. We ask that you remain seated but that the graduates stand in recognition of all their fellow graduates. All right, are we ready, graduates? Yeah. All righty. So will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Creative Media please rise and come forward. Michelle Zhang, concentration in general creative media with distinction. Thank you. Ooh, the wind blowing. Thanks. Thomas Kamai, concentration in general creative media. Renato Ordones, concentration in communications and new media technologies with distinction. Matthew Soriano, concentration in communications and new media technologies with distinction. Sierra Klonowski, Concentration in Communications and New Media Technology. Justin Angelo Guian Agudo, Concentration in General Creative Media. Russell Mendoza. Concentration in General Creative Media and Certificate in Asian Studies with Distinction. Anastasia McIntosh, Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies. Kiola Iseri, concentration in media, video game design and development with distinction. Okay. Joseph Payongayong, concentration in video game design and development. Kylie Marie Penuliar. Concentration in general creative media with distinction. Yeah. 
Misha Lawrence, Concentration in General Creative Media. Nadine Castillo, Concentration in General Creative Media. <laughs> Micah Niinuma, Concentration in General Creative Media. Yong Xuan Yu, Concentration in Design and Media. Li Yu Ma, Concentration in Design and Media. Joselyn Roa, Concentration in Design and Media with Distinction. Yasha Ronquillo, Concentration in General Creative Media with Distinction. Dexter Corpus, Concentration in General Creative Media with Distinction. Brandon Reyes Santos, Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies. Nathan Ara Smith, Concentration in Design and Media with Distinction. Patricia Burleson, Concentration in General Creative Media with Distinction. Noah Tomas, Concentration in General Creative Media. Lashika Walker, Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies. <laughs> Sanako Saito, Concentration in Design and Media with Distinction. Renee Stewart, Concentration in General Creative Media with Distinction. <laughs> Maxine Kawahine Aulelava, Concentration in Communications and New Media Technologies. Shannon Funai, Concentration in General Creative Media. Yeah, go ahead. Congratulations, Creative Media candidates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Public Administration please rise and come forward? And will Division Chair Christina Liu please come forward to the receiving line? Michael Nii, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management.
Bailey Kaleopu, Concentration in Community Health. Jensen Cody Wills Ching, Concentration in Community Health and Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Cynthia Marie Bessero Shea, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Badal BK, Concentration in Justice Administration. Isabel Gladys Ziba, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. A Rene Peter, Concentration in Justice Administration with Distinction. Devin Khan Hai, Concentration in Healthcare Administration with Distinction. Patrick S. Malone, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Alexandra June Flores, Concentration in Justice Administration. Amanda Marie Bonilla, Concentration in Healthcare Administration, Certificate in Healthcare Administration. Jerrica Ramos, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Shazlin Kiani Canada Chong, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Nicole Young, Concentration in General Public Administration. Jasmine Beckren, Concentration in General Public Administration with Distinction. Marsha Gorayanov, Masha Gorayanov, Concentration in Justice Administration with Distinction. Greg Lagapa, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Kristen Kekoa Nakasone, Concentration in General Public Administration with Distinction. Araya Bodwan, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Gianna Barone, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. <laughs> Judith Eve Amby, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. <laughs> Kiana Akana, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. Remedius Hilda Hayes, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management and Healthcare Administration, with distinction. <laughs> Michelle Joyce Angnarangai, Concentration in Healthcare Administration, with distinction. Mandeep Paul Johal, Concentration in General Public Administration, Certificate in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Woo! 
Rafael Castillo, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Darlene Malanog, Concentration in General Public Administration with Distinction. Princess Diane Oboro, Concentration in Healthcare Administration. <laughs> Casey Mondado, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management with Distinction. Tiana Aranado, Concentration in Community Health with Distinction. <laughs> Eseta Marcella Malufao, Concentration in Justice Administration. Alejandra Ramirez, Concentration in Justice Administration with Distinction. Kyle Ishikawa, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Dylan Nishida, Concentration in Justice Administration. Ryan Esplana, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management. Danielle Waring, Concentration in Long-Term Care and General Public Administration. Marie Villarreal, Concentration in Disaster Preparedness and Emergency Management, with distinction. Congratulations, Public Administration candidates. Will the candidates for the Bachelor of Arts in Social Sciences and the Bachelor of Applied Science in Sustainable Community Food Systems please rise and come forward? Will Division Chair Orlando Garcia Santiago please come forward to the receiving line? Simone Jones, Concentration in Psychology. Eleanor Biakan, Concentration in Psychology. Mi Amor Lizarraga, Concentration in Psychology. Jonathan Saavedra, Concentration in Psychology. Daphne Claire Sumakyab, Concentration in Psychology. Dan Ree Maral, Concentration in Psychology. Kyler Stevens, Concentration in Psychology. Kiana Frias, Concentration in Psychology. Thank you. 
Kristen Aspera, Concentration in Psychology. David Christian Pianse, Concentration in Psychology. Nina Alisa Manrique, Concentration in Psychology. <laughs> Leah Thorpe, Concentration in Psychology. Taylor Harper, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Jesse Mikasobe Kealii Nohomoku, Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems, and Bachelors of Social Science with a Concentration in Political Science. Tierra Bartolotti, Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems. Michaela Thomas, Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems. Natalie Firth, Concentration in Sustainable Community Food Systems with Distinction. Whitney Poliahu Wright Dule, Concentration in Political Science. Aurora Naone, Concentrations in Psychology and Political Science. Ryan Garrido, Concentration in Anthropology and a Certificate in Applied Forensic Anthropology. Rochelle Tangonan, Concentration in Psychology. Justin Escobar, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Shelby Haygood, Concentrations in Psychology and Sociology with Distinction. Kenneth Cow, Concentration in Economics with Distinction. Chantel Au, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. <laughs> Evan Benbenek, Concentration in Economics with Distinction. Ashley White, Concentration in Psychology. Clifton Agra, Concentration in Sociology. Sonia Pinsky, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Charles Hinman, Concentration in Political Science. Saramasina Doctor, Concentration in Sociology. Alyssa Mendiola, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Woo! 
Reginald Burns, Concentration in Psychology. And Zanetti Rizentes, Concentration in Psychology. Yeah, hallelujah. <laughs> yeah, go girl. <laughs> oh, good, good. You scratch them out, come on, Lani. Okay, good, okay. Kamalani Suarez, Concentration in Psychology. Asiana Saragossa Torres, Concentration in Psychology. Alana Nuuanu, Concentration in Psychology. Kaylee Shook Rogers, Concentration in Psychology. Skyler Lee Gray, Concentration in Psychology. Yeah. Jennifer Ruggles, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Yeah. Anuhea Perry, Concentration in Psychology. Laurie Stitt, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Hey, Laurie. Kelia Ikamalulani Napuelua, Concentration in Sociology. Christopher Kimura, Concentration in Anthropology and a Certificate in Applied Forensic Anthropology. Dominic Carlos, Concentration in Anthropology and a Certificate in Applied Forensic Anthropology. Chelsea Nakamura, Concentration in Psychology. Two more. <laughs> Jennifer Buss, Concentration in Psychology. Elena Atanes, Concentration in Psychology with Distinction. Okay. Congratulations, Social Sciences and Applied Science candidates. I would now like to invite Vice Chancellor for Academic Affairs, Jeffrey Moniz, to the podium. to see my view from up here. What a glorious sight to behold. To see all of our candidates standing with their family and friends. You may notice the stoles, cords, and medallions around some of the candidates' necks. Those adornments represent various honors and recognitions. The university is proud of those students who are graduating with distinction. Based on a four-point scale, these candidates have earned a minimum grade point average of 3.75 and have completed at least 30 credits 
at UH West Oahu. You'll find the names of these outstanding students marked with an asterisk in your program. The asterisks are actually represented by little feather icons. Will all those graduating with distinction and wearing a gold honor stole raise your hand to be recognized? In addition, the graduating class includes several members who were selected for national honor societies, such as Alpha Phi Sigma, Alpha Delta Kappa, Golden Key International Honor Society, Kappa Delta Pi, the National Society of Leadership and Success, Lambda Alpha, Psi Chi, and Sigma Tau Delta. To symbolize this achievement, these students are adorned with cords of various colors, pins, or medallions. Will those students raise your hand to be recognized? We would like to call upon those students who augmented their studies by participating in service learning, including community service, first responders, student teachers, first generation college graduates, and kupuna. Those with service, the service learning red stole, please raise your hand to be recognized. <laughs> Would like to recognize those students who served in various capacities on our chartered student organizations, including the Associated Students of UH West Oahu, Campus Center Board, Student Media Board, and Student Activity Board. Thank you for fostering our thriving student life. Please raise your hand to be recognized. <laughs> Lastly, but certainly not least, would like to recognize our student veterans and current service members and thank them for their service. For our veterans and service members, including those in the audience, please raise your hand. Audience, please join me in one more round of applause for all of these candidates and their accomplishments. May I please ask Chancellor Benham to join me at the podium? Chancellor Benham, it gives me great pleasure to present to you these candidates. They have completed their prescribed courses of study and are recommended by the faculty for the award of the appropriate degrees and certificates. Almost there. By virtue of the authority vested in me by the Board of Regents and the State of Hawaii, I hereby confer upon you the degrees and certificates to which you are entitled. Graduates, this is a very important symbolic rite of passage from student to graduate. Dr. Almer, keep your eyes on faculty marshal Dr. Catherine Almer, who will guide you through the symbolic transition from candidates for a degree or certificate to holder of a degree or certificate. Just a point of information. The faculty commencement marshal is a duty of honor and, dis and distinction. Our faculty marshal was selected because of her significant achievements. Dr. Amer was the recipient of the 2022 Laulima Teaching Innovation Award. Congratulations to our faculty marshal. And Dr. Amer, thank you for your contributions to our campus and especially to our students. So graduates, with Dr. Amer as your guide, you will now move the tassel on your motor boards from right to left. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you UH Westerwall, who's spring 2022 class graduate. Congratulations, UH West Oahu graduates and your Ohana. Thank you, Chancellor Benham. Ladies and gentlemen, this brings our commencement to a close. Congratulations again, graduates, and happy Mother's Day.